Today, we're gonna talk about a popular topic that I get as a recruiter is, are there bonuses in the Air National Guard? Yes, absolutely there's bonuses in the Air National Guard. How the bonuses are given out is actually based on filling under manned career fields. So what that means is the Air National Guard has certain jobs that are undermanned. Some examples of those career fields that, that we have at our base here in Southern California, crew chiefs, which the AFSC code for that is 2A5X1, and then also air transportation, 2T2X1. So those are just two examples of career fields that are currently undermanned that we wanna incentivize our new enlistees to go into. Now, keep in mind, you know, the enlistee does need to qualify for that job. Some of the challenges that we have with filling these jobs, it, it could be ASVAB related, medical specifics that are required. So the member would have to have a qualifying ASVAB score and they would have to go to MEPS and get their medical examination and get a qualified rating and then verify that they are qualified to join those career fields with their local recruiter. Keep in mind that bonuses do change every fiscal year. So the fiscal year for us in the Air National Guard starts in October 1st and then ends in September 30th. So every fiscal year, a new bonus list will come out based on what undermanned career fields there are from the previous year. So just because something's on a bonus list today, you just have to be mindful that, you know, you wanna ask your local recruiter that if that bonus job that you're eyeing is still available and still on the bonus list. Another question we get is, what's the difference between a, a national bonus and a local bonus? So a national bonus is basically a undermanned career field on a national scale. So let's just use crew chief for example. So we're always gonna be looking for aircraft maintainers, that's our aircraft mechanics and different subspecialties to maintain our aircraft. They're just saying that on a national level, we're short for these jobs. But in contrast to on the local level, meaning that specific base, they might be 100% manned on that career field. So this can vary from base to base, but they're just saying on a national level, they're undermanned for that career field. So that specific base can also have a local undermanned career field like air transportation for us this year, that 2T2X1 can be undermanned and they're trying to fill it. So that's why they'll offer a local bonus. So just because a job's on the national bonus list doesn't mean it could be available at your local base because they're already overfilled. And then in contrast, something can be not on the national bonus list, meaning nationally the, the manning is fine, but the local base needs it, so they do put on the local bonus. The best way to clarify that, of course, is to talk to your local recruiter. And if you don't know where your local recruiter is or how to reach out to them, you can just go to the website goang.com, G-O-A-N-G.com, or reach out to me at 805-415-7269 and I'll help you out. And then another question that we get is, how much are the bonuses? So this fiscal year, they actually divided the bonuses into two different categories, highly critical and critical. Highly critical gives you a $20,000 bonus, and then critical gives you a $10,000 bonus. Now local does fall into critical categories, so if you had something on the local bonus list, that would be a $10,000 bonus. Now for me personally, any bonus is awesome, right? Because when you join the Air National Guard, we're getting paid for every day we wear the uniform. So not only are you getting paid for that career development, you're also getting eligibility for these bonus career fields, these bonus incentives, just to continue doing that job that you might have done regardless, right? You got to think about it. Like if you go to college, are you paid to be there? Um, no. <laughs> so with that highly critical as example, that $20,000 career field, which crew chief does fall into them. That's that 2A5X1. That it's a $20,000 bonus. How that works, which alludes to my fourth question, when do I get my money? So an enlistment is six year contract. And then on your third year anniversary, you get the first half. And on your five year anniversary, you get the second half. So it's kind of a cool anniversary present from the Air National Guard. You know, if, if you've been thinking about saving for a car, whether that's a Mustang or Camaro or, or Tesla, you know, this would be a great a uh, lump of cash to use, or if you're just into investments, you want to save that for crypto, you you know, and you can also use that. So it's, it's definitely a great incentive that we offer. Now, if you have any questions, I know we kind of talked a lot about the bonuses and what they have to offer, and you're interested in joining the California Air National Guard, again, feel free to reach out to me. My phone number is 
415-7269. And feel free to reach out to your local recruiter so we make sure you get you get you one yourself, all right? So a little bit about myself. I've been in the Air Force 18 years. 13 years of those have been in active duty. Some of the places I've been stationed are you know, Beale Air Force Base in California, Osan Air Force Base in Republic of Korea, and then Langley Air Force Base in Virginia, and then Hickam Air Force Base in Hawaii. And that's where I actually transitioned into the Air National Guard out of active duty after I went to Wyoming in the Wyoming Air National Guard. And finally, I've, I've come home to California where I was born and raised and been a member of the California Air National Guard. And I love it. Some of the best parts of serving in the Air National Guard are being close to home, being able to serve locally and, and still be a part of your friends and family's life. I think that's become even more important nowadays with, with everything that's going on in the world. It's nice to be able to have that support from our friends and family.